Hello and welcome. I'm Master Lama Risaji, and this is our Tuesday's version of Risaji Speaks. Happy that you're with us today. Don't forget to check in on Master David's live class tonight and you'll love it. Just go to circleofchi.com and click on training and just link in and join us. You're going to love that live class. Today's lesson, let us talk about the divine thread, unveiling the spiritual connection in the ethers, right? The divine thread. There's two things it reminds me of to talk about. Number one, we not only have a physical umbilical cord that we connect with our mother, that we're being fed nutritionally wise, oxygen wise, constantly in the womb of the expectant mother for, as you know, for nine months. <clears throat> Excuse me, but we also have what's called a silver cord or silver thread. And that's how we're connected to the inner body. That's how our astral and causal and mental body are actually connected to the physical body itself. That's severed and we'd be in big, big trouble. It's amazing that these threads are connected to us that all for us birth and sustain our life. In the energy body, the field where most of our emotions and our mental energy are wrapped up in the field, sometimes refer it to as the ether around us. In the beginning and even toward the end of the cycle, of second birth, which we refer to as the Kundalini experience in the ancient city masters that root back five to 50,000 years ago. Master Rabbi Jesus referred to this birth, the second birth of first, we're born of the mother of water, but we're born of the father with the holy fire. The mind influences the throat chakra a lot, which in turn influences the ethereal rim. The ethereal rim is more of a four to five D vibration. Jesus referred to all of this as the temple. In ancient India, they referred to it as the true Chanda, 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 meaning spirit, mind, and body are but one. Again, Christ said, reference, let thy eye be but single and thy whole body physically, ethereal, spiritually would be filled with light. When someone's going through that second birth, you can see the color here that I'm wearing. The sky blue is very dominant. As that throat chakra begins to clear out, you see more this blue, which is a healing color, a calm color, very much like the waterfall you see behind me. But as we get about midway through that kundalini development, the student, the aspirant, the disciple, the chila, begins to see a purple like indigo. We're going through ascension and transformation. Quote, unquote, why our tours are referred to as the ascension tours and the background colors are blue and purple for this reason. As that third eye begins to open up and we're mastering the first five chakras and the elements of those chakras, we're embracing that second birth that Jesus talks about, that the city yoga masters are referring to, the kundalini, 
two serpents, if you will, making what scripture refers to as Jacob's ladder. And you can see the figure eight or the infinity sign in that. This is why two of our standing Qigong exercises, the figure eight exercise and the Tai Chi swim, both of these you embrace if you're a new person on the 45-day renewal. So you get what you need in the 45-day renewal to help stabilize that second birth and actually create a balanced process as this energy comes from the ethereal 4 and 5D realm. It begins to supercharge our physical body. It's part of what Lamaji refers to is the psychic and the spiritual nutrition. Yes, we have nutrition from the water we drink, some better than the others, from the nourishment of food that we eat, some but more than others, from the nutritional supplements and herbal formulas that we take, some more than others. But that's not all who we are. That's not who we are. Jesus said some of us worship the God of our belly more than the most high God. The first time I met Master Lama Boyan today is amazing. Well over 116 years old, still in his body, still active, still mentally alert. As I was approaching him in 1975, 50 years ago, it was amazing that in that process, I saw birds and squirrels around him. They would not leave him. And I'm thinking, as I walked around his back, he must have seed or nuts or grain or something that's attracting these pigeons and attracting these squirrels. Well, there's a lot of pigeons in New York City. But squirrels sometimes are hard to find, especially in a small park like Washington Square. In the Grand Central Park, it's easy to find. There's a lot of trees and a lot of foliage. But there was just very little there at that time in the 70s. I'll never forget when I walked around him and I saw that he had no food to of any means, visually, that part of scripture immediately came to mind to me. I have food to eat that you know not of. Talking about a higher food, a higher form of nutrition. What the city yoga masters discovered for 5,000 to 50,000 years is the body, mind, and spirit need more. They need a thread, a connection to the divine. They need to nourish that. They learn that through their siddhanas, their spiritual practices, and the spiritual purifications that we do here at the circle at chi.com, nourish the body as much as any food and drink that we drink. And as a matter of fact, we find that we need less of food and drink when we are equally partaking of the spiritual and psychic nutrition connected to the thread and the ethers of our energy body. Why don't you join us? And try that yourself. Get signed up. It's very simple to do. Try it. You got nothing to lose and everything to gain. Change your being forever. Watch yourselves. We've seen people gain weight that needs to gain weight. We've seen people lose 60 to 80 pounds doing the system without even really changing their diet. Where do you hear that? 
right? It's because we become into balance. The endocrine gland system, which is our physical chakras, and the chakras, which are our ethereal gland system, come into balance. And when they do, anything is possible, including health and longevity. And I'm the global spokesperson. I know a little bit about that because we've been around for over 3,000 years. Thank you for dropping in today. Baraka Mashad, may the blessings be to you and to your glorious family. And I get a chance to see you bright and early tomorrow on hump day. God bless you and your family and see you real soon.